Wrought iron was once the backbone of construction and design. From magnificent gates to elegant railings, bridges, and even weapons, this metal was prized for its durability and workability. Yet today, it's rare to see authentic wrought iron in modern buildings or infrastructure. So what happened? Why did this once essential material fade into obscurity? Let's dive into the history properties and the reasons wrought iron has been largely replaced by modern alternatives, right here on History of Simple Things. Wrought iron is a type of iron that has been heated and worked with tools, giving it a fibrous, grain-like appearance. Unlike cast iron, which is brittle, or modern steel, which is uniform, wrought iron contains small amounts of slag, impurities that make it more malleable and resistant to corrosion. Historically, blacksmiths shaped it by hand, hammering it into intricate designs. It was widely used for centuries in everything from weapons to architectural elements and shipbuilding. Its strength, ductility, and rust-resistant nature made it invaluable. However, as technology advanced, new materials began to take its place. The decline of wrought iron began with the Industrial Revolution. While it remained a preferred material for artisans and craftsmen, the emergence of steel changed the game. Steel offered similar strength, but with better consistency higher production efficiency, and greater versatility. The Bessemer process invented in the mid-19th century revolutionized steel production by allowing large quantities to be made quickly and cheaply. Unlike wrought iron, which required labor-intensive forging, steel could be produced in mass, reducing costs and making it the preferred choice for bridges, buildings, and railways. As steel production improved, engineers and manufacturers realized that steel's superior mechanical properties made it more suitable for high-stress applications. Wrought iron, while still effective, couldn't compete with the convenience of steel manufacturing. By the early 20th century, steel had almost entirely replaced wrought iron in major industries, leaving only a few niche applications for the older material. One of the biggest reasons wrought iron is no longer widely used is that modern materials can achieve similar aesthetic and functional results with less effort and cost. For instance, decorative fencing, railings, and gates that once relied on wrought iron are now made from steel, aluminum, or even synthetic materials. These modern alternatives are easier to manufacture, require less maintenance, and can be mass-produced at a fraction of the cost. Even in artistic and decorative applications, genuine wrought iron is rare. Most so-called wrought iron products today are actually made from mild steel that has been shaped to resemble the original material. This steel can be more easily welded and manipulated with modern tools, reducing the need for the traditional blacksmithing techniques once necessary for wrought iron work. Perhaps the most defining moment in the decline of wrought iron was the closure of the last major mills producing it. By the mid-20th century, demand had fallen so much that keeping these specialized mills running was no longer economically viable. In 1974, the last commercial wrought ironworks in the UK, the Dudden Foundry, shut down. Since then, no large-scale production of wrought iron has resumed. The material is now only available through recycling or by reworking existing iron from historical buildings and structures. Because genuine wrought iron is no longer mass-produced, it has become an expensive specialty material. The few remaining blacksmiths and restoration specialists who work with it often have to rely on salvaged iron from demolished structures. This makes authentic wrought iron a rare commodity, 
primarily used for heritage restoration projects rather than everyday construction. Another factor that contributed to the decline of wrought iron is its susceptibility to corrosion. While it is more rust resistant than cast iron, it still requires maintenance to prevent degradation, especially in outdoor environments. Modern coatings such as galvanization and powder coating make steel much more resistant to rust than untreated wrought iron. Additionally, materials like stainless steel and aluminum offer excellent corrosion resistance without the need for frequent upkeep. Stainless steel in particular has become a preferred material in many industries due to its ability to withstand harsh environments without rusting. These advantages further diminish the need for wrought iron, particularly in construction and infrastructure. Today, wrought iron has been replaced by a variety of modern materials that offer greater efficiency and performance. Mild steel, for instance, is often used as a substitute in artistic ironwork because it mimics the look of wrought iron while being easier to weld and shape. Meanwhile, composite materials and high-performance alloys are used in industries that once relied on wrought iron, such as shipbuilding and construction. However, this does not mean wrought iron is completely obsolete. Some artisans and restoration experts continue to value it for its unique properties, especially in historical preservation. Architectural conservation efforts sometimes require authentic wrought iron to maintain the integrity of historic buildings and landmarks. In these cases, recycled or repurposed wrought iron is carefully sourced and reshaped by skilled craftsmen. While wrought iron is no longer a mainstream material, it has left an indelible mark on history. From the intricate gates of ancient cathedrals to the elegant balconies of 19th century homes, its legacy is still visible today. Though largely replaced by steel and other modern materials, it remains cherished in the world of restoration and craftsmanship. So is wrought iron truly gone? Not entirely. It may no longer be the industrial workhorse it once was, but in the hands of skilled artisans and preservationists, its legacy continues. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.